I think you get a couple of types of drivers, actually, that certainly that I've witnessed throughout history. You get the naturals and you get the grafters. And the grafters probably have won as many championships as those that are naturally gifted, but they've done it their way. So if you go back to the, the great days of Senna against Prost, Prost was always portrayed as the bad guy. But really, he was the professor. He was the smart one. He was the guy that always just did enough. He didn't want to take the change out of the car. He always looked after that. He always just did enough to win the race, and it got him four world titles. So if I was to say who was the smartest driver in Formula One, I'd, I'd probably go with Alan Prost. I'd say that Lewis Hamilton is perhaps the most gifted driver out there, along with Fernando Alonso and Sebastian Vettel. But I think of those, the one who works the hardest, from my experience of it, would be Sebastian Vettel. For example, um, in his Red Bull days, we always knew that he was the one driver that would go over to the Pirelli factory pre-season. He'd get to know the tyres. We understand he's done the same this year uh, with Ferrari. So he's got an inside line on things. He's always working one of the last out of the paddock in the evening, works hard with his engineers. And you combine that with his, uh, his natural gifts as a driver. And that means that you know, he's in pole position this year. Schumacher is Vettel's hero and his benchmark, but they're from different sides of the tracks. So Schumacher very much uh, the working class hero. Sebastian Vettel, his popularity in Germany is nowhere near what Schumacher's was. But I think allying himself with Ferrari, as, as Michael did, has probably moved him into the same stratosphere now. And I think if he can achieve success with a Scuderia like Schumacher did, that will endear him uh, to the German public 